Hello everyone, welcome to our pre-calculus pre-recording video. This is about establishing trigonometric identities. So uh, let's look at the agenda. Use algebra to simplify trigonometric expressions, establish identities and practice maths. So these are the plan for our coming class. First of all, what is identity? What is this identity means? If you have two function fx and gx, two function, but they are true for for every value of x, both of the functions are defined. This function and this function, both of the functions are defined for every value of x. That means in the left hand side and in the right hand side, for every value of x, their value becomes equal. After the calculation, their answer comes same in the left side and right side. Let me show you an example, simple example, so that you can understand it. Uh, Let's say we write a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square. What is a plus b whole square equals to? a square plus 2ab plus b square. Let's say the value of a is 1, the value of b is 2. Then what you have here? 1 plus 2 equals to 3. 3 square means 9. So this side is 9. Then 1 is square, 1 is square means 1, then 2 into 1 into 2, that means it is 4, then 2 is square, this is b equals to 2, 2, equal, 2 is square means 4, so that means it is 9. So see this side is 9 and this side is 9 for this value. Now you can choose any other value for any set of uh, two value, you choose a equals to something and b equals to something, always your left hand side and right hand side will become equal. That's why this is called identity. This is the uh, algebraic identity. Trigonometric identity, uh, we can uh, set many examples here. This is, uh, suppose sin theta, sin theta divided by cos theta equals to tan theta. Sin theta divided by cos theta equals to tan theta. This is a trigonometric identity. Of course, there are many identities. Now, suppose if you want to put here the uh, angle uh, let's say you want to put any angle actually all of them will be true suppose you want to put 30 degree so 10 30 degree equals to what 10 30 degree equals to what root 3 by 3 or 1 by root 3 both is correct let's say 1 by root 3 <coughs> 1 by root 3 and root 3 by 3 both is same word or root 3 by 3 both is same thing because you multiply both up and down by root that's why now sin, sin, sin 30 degree equals to what? Sin 30 degree equals to half and cos 30 degree equals to root 3 by 2. So ultimately what you have here? See 2, 2 cancel out, so 1 by root 3 is remaining here. So ultimately 1 by root 3 this side, this side 1 by root 3 and this, three, this side also 1 by root 3. And this is true for any, any value you put here. True for any value you put here, we put here. Okay, this is these are the call. This is this is the identity. Now let's look at this. This is the example a plus whole square example. This is uh, sine square plus cos square equals to one. This is also an identity. This is also an identity. But this one is conditional equation. Twice x plus five equals to zero. But x is, this is not true for everything. For x equals to minus five by two, this is left hand side and right hand side is equal. But if you put x equals to five, x equals to two, then it is not zero. That is why it is called conditional sin x equals to 0 this is also a conditional because sin theta is 0 not everywhere not every value of x sin theta is not 0 sin theta is equals to 0 for 0 degree or k of pi that means 1 pi 2 pi 3 pi like that sin x equals to cos x is not true for everywhere it is only true for 45 degree uh, only true for 45 degree and uh, that 180 plus 45 degree which is this then plus 2 pi k because the period is 2 pi k. So not everywhere. That's why these are called conditionals. Now these are the list of trigonometric identities. Fundamental. Because uh, we will be using them everywhere. This is called tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta. And cot theta is just the reciprocal of sin, tan theta. So that's why cot theta equals to cos by sin. Reciprocal means sin cos, cos sec cos and cot uh, cot tan this sine cosec 
this is the Pythagorean because we can actually find out it from the Pythagorean theorem sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 tan square theta plus 1 equals to sin square theta these are we can find out from the Pythagorean theorem also from the unit circle also in relation we can establish them in the even odd identity only for cos of minus theta equals to plus cos theta everything is negative sin of minus theta minus sin theta tan minus theta minus tan theta only for cos and sec cos and sec it is it is positive cos minus theta sec minus theta equals to plus sec theta and plus cos theta both of them only for cos and sec it is plus and everything else it is minus when it is minus theta now look at this where we can apply it where we can apply it Suppose if we try to solve some maths, uh, it looks like this set and this set is different, but actually they are same. Uh, let's say this one, sec theta equals to 1 by cos theta. Into sin theta. And sin theta divided by cos theta equals to actually tan theta. So see, not difficult actually. Not difficult actually. This one is also similar math, and this one is tan of minus theta equals to minus tan theta. One minus tan theta, tan square theta equals to sec square theta. There is another formula. This way we can actually solve them. Let's uh, solve another math. Suppose twenty-four number. So this is sine theta. Cot theta means cos theta divided by cot theta means cos theta divided by sin theta. And this means sin divided by cos. Sin theta divided by cos theta. Now inside the bracket we can do LCM. So it will become sin theta. and cos theta now sin sin cancel out so you have cos theta and cos theta that means cos is square theta then here cos cos cancel out so you have sin and sin so sin is square theta and here of course you have to write it sin theta Now see this sin theta and sin theta we can cancel out. This is cos square theta plus sin square theta. This equal to what? This equals to 1. This whole thing equals to 1. Sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. And 1 divided by cos theta equals to sec theta. 1 divided by cos theta equals to sec theta because everything else is cancelled out. So we have sec theta here. Then let's look at uh, another math. This math looks like fun because uh, see this is cosec theta plus cot theta. This is cosec theta minus cot theta. So basically a plus b into a minus b. So we can write a square minus b square. A square theta minus b square theta. Cot square theta. And actually cosec square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1. So we will not have to do anything else. There is another method to another way to solve this math. This is cos equals to 1 by sine, cot equals to cot equals to cos by sine, then cos equals to again that, uh, cot equals to again that, then do LCM, but again answer will come same. So this equals to 1 actually. We will not have to, we will not have to do anything else uh, unless you want to do it in some other methods. Let's solve one more math and that will be the last one. sec u minus tan u this is cos u divided by 1 plus sin u so sec u means uh, we can write it as 1 by cos u minus tan u means 1 by uh, sin u divided by cos u see angle is written here u angle is written here u so sin u divided by cos u 
okay now you do LCM so what we have here we have cos u 1 minus sin u now see there is a problem here they want us to find out cos u in the up but we have it here in the down and they want us to find out 1 plus tan u in the up but we have it in the down so it's a problem so it's a problem so let's multiply up and down by 1 plus sin u 1 plus sin u you can always uh, if you need you can always uh, multiply by the same number up and down same thing up and down it will not change your math uh, mathematical process process or con uh, conditions it will not change anything condition only condition is you have to do do it do with the same number up and down and multiply it or divide it okay so this way and that way we can do it then let's do it now let's do it um, so this is 1 minus sine square 1 plus sine uh, so 1 minus sine 1 plus sine so it is it becomes 1 minus sine square u One minus sine square u divided by this is cos u and this is one plus sine u. Then this equals to this equals to one minus sine u means actually cos square. One minus sine square means cos square. So you can write cos square u divided by cos u. then 1 plus sin u this and this now we can cancel out then 1 cos u this is 2 cos cos square u so we can write cos u just only here so we can write cos u just only here that means it is cos u cos u divided by 1 plus sine u which is uh, the last thing that we are trying to cos u divided by 1 plus sine u cos u divided by 1 plus sine u so this is how we established it this is this method is relatively longer relatively longer but not uh, difficult to think just one trick we have to uh, we have to we have used here in addition that is 1 plus sine u multiply up and down by this and sometimes uh, for establishing trigonometric identities we need to bring some bring something just to make it uh, just to establish it uh, same in the both sides so sometimes we need to uh, bring it from ourselves this is in this case one plus sine u one plus sine u we have to multiply we, we multiply it up and down yeah some sometimes if needed some other things also you may have to uh, you may have to introduce and that that you are allowed to do that we are allowed to do that so that's uh, that's the practice for now and in the class we'll try to practice more maths from here and these are the these are the methods it is almost always preferable to start with the side containing the more complicated expressions so the side which has more complicated we will start from that side rewrite sums or difference of quotients as a single quotient so try to make it single thing uh, from uh, from all the complications sometimes rewriting one side in terms of sine and cosine functions only helps Suppose if you have cot, tan, cosec, sec, bring everything sine and cos, then math becomes easier. Always keep your goal in mind as you manipulate one side to, uh, of the expression. You must keep in mind uh, the form of expression on the other side. So while solving, you have to always look at the other side. Sometimes uh, keep, keep an eye there because uh, where we want to go. Just for example, in our last math, just because of this thing is given that's why we know, know that we have to multiply up and down by this thing so we understand it from our right hand side not from our own okay we when we look at the right hand side okay what i need what we need here then we understand it from that side okay so that's why they said always keep your goal in mind so if you look at as you manipulate one side of the expression you must keep in mind the form of the expression on the other side so this actually helps these are the these are the guidelines for establishing the identities. 
we will try to solve in uh, these are the in class practice we will so solve more maths from here you can try solving this um, and that's all thank you very much and see you all in the class bye everyone bye bye have a good day